complete this square because one of the first things I told you guys when you're completing the square is you got to have this as 1. So what we're going to want to do is factor out out of the first two terms. Therefore, y equals negative 3 x squared minus 4 x minus 2. Now, within these parentheses, I'm going to want to create my perfect square trinomial. So again, to do that, take b divided by 2 and square it. b is going to be my middle term, negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by negative, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. All right, so here's where it gets confusing. And this is like one of the most common mistakes um, of students. And I've even made the mistake many, many times. So you completed the square. Does everybody understand you had to get this as, you got to get this as 1. You factored that out. You took b divided by 2 and squared it. You completed a perfect square. But here, Ryan, where we came into the issue was this 4 is being multiplied by what, Ryan? What is that 4 being multiplied by? So really, if you were looking at like what is the weight on the right side, it's actually negative 12, right? Because that's a 4 being multiplied by negative 3. So if I add a 4, just like I showed you guys before, whenever you add a 4, you have to subtract a 4, right? Uh, if you're doing it on the same side. You add a 4, subtract a 4. But since this 4 is being multiplied by negative 3, this 4 needs to be multiplied by negative 3. Otherwise, it's going to be unweighted. It's not going to be the same you know, weight. And you're going to have a, no, a non-equal equation. So now, what's nice about this is now this is a perfect square trinomial. So I can factor it to a binomial squared. Then I just do negative 4 times negative 3, which is positive 12. Minus 2 is positive 10. And there you go. Done. OK? So you guys are going to have the luxury of doing one last problem.